Hi, this is Mark Pizza Keller, and welcome to October 2023 edition of What You Need to Know with Dr. Mark. Now, what I want to talk about today is employees versus subcontractors. Now, you might say, what's so exciting about that? But let me tell you, it's critical, it's controversial, and it happens all the time. Employers have to make the decision. Am I employing um, an employee or am I employing a subcontractor? The tax implications are significantly different, not least of which is whether or not the company should pay superannuation. And remember, superannuation, if it's not paid, is a personal liability of directors. Now, there's a critical case that's just come up right off, hot off the press. Um, the High Court dismissed the Commissioner's application for special leave in relation to the JMC Proprietary Limited decision. Now, essentially, that was a case where um, it revolved around two key things about the employment of, an, of, of somebody by the company. Uh, it was a lecturer, uh, and the company argued that that lecturer was a contractor, and it argued that on two key issues. One, that the employee was able to assign his obligation to, for someone else to provide the lectures if he was not able to. Uh, and secondly, whether or not JMC could control it um, and whether or not they could ask the person where they should be teaching. In, in other words, did JMC have control over how, when and where the teaching services were to be provided? So when you look at all these factors, the conclusion was that uh, JMC did have a contracting relationship and not least of which um, what re this revolved around was Clause 5 of the contract, which actually talked about the ability um, of the person being able to assign um, their ability to have someone else step in their shoes should they not be um, available. Now, in the original case, the Commissioner argued that that was not possible because JMC had to give written consent. Um, but, of course, the court found that, you know, an employer can't unreasonably uh, withhold that consent. And so therefore it was found that uh, that person could in fact um, um, subcontract out to another person, delegate if you like. And so that was the conclusion. So look, what are the takeaways? Well, you need to look at the written contract. I think written, contract is, written contracts are going to be much more important going forward. You need to address the main factors in the contract in terms of control, whether the person's integrated into your business, whether they only work for you, do they work for others? You also need to address the risk of a sham arrangement. You can't just say things in a contract, they actually have to represent what is actually taking place. That's all I wanna to say today, but if you have any questions, by all means, re by all means reach out uh, and hope you have a great October as we're heading towards Christmas. Speak to you soon.